Greetings, everyone. A very warm welcome to another edition of Exhausted to Extraordinary, a Mindset Hack series with me, Dr. Sharon Grossman. And today I am joined by Sandra Walston. A very warm welcome to you, Sandra, from Miami Beach. And where are you hanging out? I'm trying to transition from summer to winter. I'm in Denver, Colorado. Oh, boy. (laughs) You've got on that key top and I've got on a a vest. (laughs) Yeah, quite different uh, climates. Um, Now, for those of you who don't know Sandra, she is a global speaker who is known as the courage expert. And according to Sandra, her one job is to teach people how to claim their courage. And when people engage Sandra, their lives move to their true self. For over 25 years, she's been a human potential specialist who studies courage. She's a certified coach, and she's also certified in the Enneagram and MBTI. She's the author of three books and a trailblazer in the field of feminine courage, everyday courage, and organizational courage. She found that there's a direct correlation between your success quotient and your courage quotient. And today, Sandra's going to be sharing with us how to connect your courage with self-fulfillment in just seven minutes. Sandra, are you ready? I was born ready, Sharon. I love it. (laughs) That's what I like to hear. All right. Well, your seven minutes start now. And question number one is, what are the biggest challenges your ideal client faces? Well, that was a pretty intriguing question because with 25, 26 years of research, what I found was the biggest thing is the lack of self-discipline. And by that, the lack of self-discipline is a critical behavior of the lack of self-discipline means that they've lost courage. They haven't been able to claim it. They don't know how to use courage as a skill, mm. how to draw upon it. So lack of, you know, lack of self-discipline of, for example, of speaking up, always swallowing my voice. <clears throat> Why did I do it again? You know, Why did I swallow my voice? To, uh, to just wondering, you know, why they're so unhappy, you know, why they're burnt out, <laughs> mm. you know, why they're exhausted. So lack of self-discipline has been a big, big platform finder for me in my research. So those are the biggest challenges. Question number two, which you've kind of answered in a way, what are the typical symptoms that they experience with that problem? Do you want to expand on that? Yes, because it is really a biggie. And that is the definition of courage. So first we need to have a a platform where we're all in agreement as to what we're gonna accept about the definition. So what is the definition of courage based upon my 26 years of research? It is claiming the etymology of the word courage, medieval old French courage, meaning heart and spirit. So let me just make it really clear. It is not about creating the duality of courage and fear. I do not sell fear. Fear is not my topic. It is not about courage and bravery. Bravery is valor and physical courage. I don't do any work on physical courage. Like when was the last time you jumped in the river to save a drowning child or run in front of a bus? Those kind of heroic stories are not part of my work. It is about your heart and spirit. And when you look at the heartmath.org, they'll tell you why courage is founded in the heart. Mm. Yeah, I've actually heard that because I think courage is a French word that means heart. Is that right? Something like that? Yes, exactly. Thank. Oh, yay. Somebody that knows. Yeah. (laughs) Awesome. All right. So question number three, what are the the common mistakes they make when trying to solve that problem? And you have four minutes and 32 seconds. They stay stuck in the same old script, the Mm -hmm. same old stories. I call those the false self stories. And the reason for the false self stories is that between the age of like zero to eight, we end up losing parts of us subconsciously that we don't know. And we take on these false true stories. So for example, I have a coaching client that was trying, who's an architect, very well-known architect. And he we finally, when we dug into what was his false self story so he could claim his courage and he so wanted to claim it, was that he said all my life, all, when I was young, I was painfully shy. So he had been holding on to this false self story called, 
I'm painfully shy. So what does that mean? Then he was invisible. At mm. work, he wondered why he didn't get promoted. Well, he was invisible because yeah. I'm painfully shy. So once we got into that false truth story, he was able to limit that and be able to expand his courage lens to be able to say, okay, I don't need to hang on to that false self story anymore. Beautiful. So three minutes and 15 seconds. And question number four is what would be an example of a transformation that is possible after this challenge is properly diagnosed? The person knows how to draw on their courage. So they recognize that there's a reservoir of courage that they can draw upon. So, you know, when the COVID started, if we go back to the lack of self-discipline, so much of it is, well, I'm going to, I'm going to do it when, or I'm going to do it, whatever. And we don't, we don't have that kind of fortitude to be what to be receptive to having our courage become a bedrock. So for example, if I'm, if I'm hearing a conversation going on in my head, like don't do it now because that maybe Sharon won't like that. I mean, what if I say something that they don't like, then I'm undermining my words. But what I find is that also most people don't have the linguistic skills and which to stand in their courage. Mm. So I'll give you an example for your listeners of what they could do. So let's say they're getting pretty courage conscious and they're, they're hearing this. Oh, if I speak up in this, in this meeting, they're going to think I'm stupid. I'm going to look dumb. I'm going to, what if I fumble? What if I do this? And so when they begin to say, Oh, okay, there I am doing that. Then here's what they can say. I'm going to role play. You know, this takes a lot of courage for me to share with you, blah, 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 blah. What happens as a linguistics coach, you begin to, you, be, you begin to notice how the ears perk up. You know, they're like, wow, this is a big deal for her. You know, I need to really sit up here and listen and determine what's going on with her. Mm -hmm. So it's becoming that courage conscious. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so our next question, question number five is, what is the number one mindset hack you could give your ideal client to solve that problem? And you've got one minute, 24 seconds. So I would ask the question to them, what would you do right now if you had unlimited courage? And Sharon, we all always have one. <laughs> but we just haven't been willing to step up to the plate to muster our courage to do it. So what would you do right now if you had unlimited courage? So I would ask them that question. And they and you know what? In their heart of hearts, they know. Yeah. Sometimes know. we just need the question. So question number six is, what is one valuable free resource that you can direct people to that will further help them with that problem? You've got 43 seconds. The resource tool that we talked about, uh, if they go on my website, which is Sandra Walston, W A L. S-T-O-N. And that's the first test. 99% of people do not get my last name right. <laughs> I will give them the link. So just tell them okay. what they can find. So go to speaking and then go down to free e-booklet. So I've, I've compiled okay. a free e-booklet that's called Courageous Leadership hyphen the inside. And inside is capital I-N because it is inside in the heart and inside job. Wonderful. So everybody, I encourage you to go and grab that. And unfortunately, we are out of time no, for our no. last question. But you did wonderful. Thank you so much, Sandra, for being here and sharing. And it took a lot of courage to get over here. Uh, so anybody who wants to learn more from Sandra, please check out the free resource that she's giving us. I will share the link again in the show notes. And Sandra, thank you again. Thank you, Sharon. Thanks for checking out the Exhausted to Extraordinary podcast. If you like what we do here, head on over to iTunes to subscribe, like us, and leave us a review. It is very much appreciated. And if you're feeling burned out and want to challenge yourself, take the seven-day burnout to your best life boot camp. Go to sevendayburnoutchallenge.com to join for free.